Hi everyone, this is Ruth Marquise Haynes. Um, and I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Real Estate. And um, this morning I wanna talk about switching it up. So they say that you are the sum total of your five closest friends, right? So when I wanted to switch up my money, I had to stop hanging with people that just never have money or they just never could believe they're going to make six figures or they just never believe that they could save money or do things or whatever. I had to switch it up. I can definitely couldn't take financial advice, but I had to switch it up and um good morning, good morning, good morning. Had to change up my environment. Good morning, Mickey. And I decided that I was going to add people in my life that were going to push me to be greater because I don't want to be a uh, part of a crowd and I'm the big dog of the crowd. I want to be the little dog of the crowd. Like they all running faster than me and I'm just like, rrr, 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 I'm trying to catch up, right? <laughs> so that in that way, I was able to increase my paycheck. Um, so now it's more like what else? What's next? Whenever you, I love you too. <laughs> Whenever you want to get a new goal, so maybe your new goal is saving money. You need to switch it up by changing up your friends. I love, love, love YouTube videos, right? And I think that we can use them a lot better than we do now. Um, books are great, but if you, if you actually learn how to um, just like use tools differently, use Google differently, use YouTube differently, use Facebook differently. I was telling people like, you know you can make money on Facebook, right? You know you can make money on YouTube, right? Like people don't think that. They just think it's here for entertainment. Uh, but if you just change that up. So now I'm watching videos on how to save money and how not to um, spend everything and how not to, you know, because how are you ever going to get where you want to go if you constantly, constantly spending money? So you have to save your money or um, I made a decision to stop eating meat. So I would have to talk to, hear from people that don't eat meat. I'm at dinner with my brother. I'm like, what am I eating? Because I don't know. <laughs> so it's like, wow, a, a whole new world. And this was like a struggle, a struggle, a struggle. And then once I realized other people are actually doing it, I was like, you know what? I, I definitely can do it. I didn't believe I could do it in the beginning, but it just shows you the discipline that if you have discipline in your life, it goes, it spreads to from one thing and to another thing, but it all starts by switching it up. So one thing leads to another thing leads to another thing a fast leads to a veg being a vegetarian vegetarian a temporary veg vegetarian right uh, leads to losing weight leads to you know maybe working out maybe um you know leads to making more money leads to uh changing up friends or how you even deal with your situations how do you deal with your situations i was reading something last night and it was talking about how you're not supposed to like living beyond your feelings by um joyce meyer how you're not supposed to talk about negative stuff i'm like what how do you get it off your chest how do you vent she said you just need to focus on the positive things and everything that's bothering you everything that's negative just like don't talk about it and i was like wow Okay, so I was like, at least I'm gonna pray about it. So when something happened, and I was like, ooh, they act real funny. So I was like, all right, I'm in a funky mood, and I'm like, before I give this funky mood off to my kids, let me get myself together. Sure enough, didn't pick up the phone, and nothing. You are absolutely right, Mickey. Prayer and praise. Prayed about it, talked about it, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna talk to, about it to somebody that actually can do something about it, right? And then I just let it go, and I would start focusing on the positive things and things that I want to do. So you gotta switch up, switch it up, switch up your behavior, switch up what you want to do. Um, if you're always dominant, boom, 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 like give yourself, like let me take a back seat, like let this person, and you're trying to cooperate with somebody else, let that person be first, let that person go first and listen to them and grow and say, you know what? Maybe I can 
uh, be able to add to my skill set by listening to other people, by giving them what they want, and then maybe that'll increase my business, that will increase my personality, that will increase the things that I plan on doing and want to do because I just switch it up. So now it's just like, what's next? What is new? What is what is? I'm so excited. I'm like, okay, saving money. Okay, 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 okay. So why, 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 why we want to save money? First of all, if you want to save money, look, inbox me. We're gonna get together. We're gonna save money. Uh, I got into something called a susu. I don't know if you know about that, where a bunch of people come together and they start saving their money. So we did it on the, on the, when I had a job, and we saved our money, and I was able to, you know, get the, you know, I was able to hit first. Hey, thank you, Jesus. All right. So, um, but yeah, it was so cool because I was like, yo, that little bit of money, like I got a twelve hundred dollar payday, but for putting money. Um, away and it was just like wow a hundred dollars a hundred dollars it was adding up I was gonna end up getting twenty four hundred dollars um, and then it was just like wow to think cuz before you would think paycheck to paycheck to paycheck and then you're like oh what happens if I do have extra money in my account okay let me think a little bit higher than that let me think about making that amount of money let me think about saving that amount of money let me think about you know just it keeps elevating you just have to keep elevating yourself your mindset your growth and putting yourself around people that think in that way even if they are not there for everything they're not just the people that you want to hang out with all the time but what if you allow them to pour into your life and that's what i'm saying it don't have to be somebody that you have to get to know hey can you be my friend can you be my friend no 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 i'm saying you can go and watch a video and you can learn how somebody saved $20,000. Learn what they did. Learn that it's a lifestyle. Learn it's a choice. What I'm learning right now is like everything is a choice. Like how you eat is a choice. How you work out is a choice. What you wear is a choice. You can choose to wear the nicest things. You can choose to wear normal things. Like the most basic things you can. It's all a choice. It's all in your mind. And you could say, I'm doing this on purpose because there's a greater purpose. That I have greater goals than what I want to do. If you want to travel the world, there's you can start today. You can start saving today. You can start planning it today. You can start moving forward and shaping your thinking. I mean, this is not like um, something like gossip or something negative so it's not for everybody but whoever is for like let me know because there's some positive wavelengths you got to be on in order to create a new life you can literally create your own new life if you start putting those thoughts in your life if you start adding to what you already know by grabbing somebody else's wisdom we know how to do this stuff you know saving money is just spending less than what you make but let go find somebody that did it already so that you know hey guess what I'm gonna do what they did once I see somebody else do it I'm like oh I definitely can do it I'm not gonna be the one to be like oh I could never ever do that I thought that was me but then I was like how much power is it to say no like I don't want to eat meat right now I don't have to you don't owe me um Popeye's chicken <laughs> you don't owe me anymore right like and to to lose the weight and to see changes in your face and to go you know into another level in your life is amazing I'm telling you you fought, do one discipline whatever your discipline is and then allow yourself to start to get new disciplines and say you know what this I'm gonna add this to my life and I'm gonna add that to my life and I'm gonna add that to my life and I'm gonna say no to this for a year and I'm saying no to this for 40 days and I'm gonna say no to that and like imagine the power that you have in saying no who would have thought saying no to yourself is something powerful if I said no I'm not sleeping past five o'clock I don't care what the heck I do I'm not sleeping like I gotta sit up get up watch a video praise do something but I'm not I'm not sleeping past, you know, five no more. That's, I mean, even if I don't get stuff done, I just, I decided. That's when I decide, that's what's it. So switch it up. Switch up your environment. Switch up your friends. Switch up what you listen to. Listen to positive things and watch your life change. You want your life to change, but you still want to be on that old stuff. You got to get off the old stuff and join the new movement and, and just get it done. This is Ruth Marquise Haynes. Save your money, buy a house, <laughs> and then call me, right? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Call me, call me first and then buy a house, right? All right, so see y'all guys. I love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.